Last month, I said that I had really, really slow internet by just downloading a file that was very small, but would take f over 40 minutes to do that. Well, I'm currently uploading May's 2016 episode. It's been uploading for 20 minutes, and it does not tell me when it's going to be done. That's how slow we are here, people. That does mean, theoretically, that it's not actually June when I'm filming this, but we're going to forget that. God, we're in the same shot together, Alan. We're not on Skype. What is this <laughs> nonsense? <laughs> oh my god. This is just an edit, by the way, guys. We've never met up. We yeah. don't Oh, this is actually a green screen. All the shake I'm doing at the moment from the drive is actually just me moving around. Yeah, he's had a little bit of a wobbly effect on the yeah. effect, which is good. Mm. Um, yeah, it really looks authentic, actually. I've seen, I've seen a draft of it because we did a practice. Yeah. We're, we're in a lovely place right now. This is great. I mean, look at all these houses. Look, really at, nice look, look, at, look at the construction here. <laughs> you know, I heard George Clooney lives in that house. Oh. Sure. Wow, that was a really good green screen bump. And uh, <laughs> Val Kilmer lives next to him. And then there's Michael Keaton. I don't know why, they call it Batman Street or something like that. <laughs> How was filming yesterday? Yesterday's filming was fun and really concise and fast and we got it all done on time. Yes it was. And then we had this bloody amazing meal at the end of the day, so that was nice, it was yes. a good ending. Um, and how was today? Today was really good, like I, I, I hesitate to say like as good as yesterday, because yesterday was really concise and fun, but today was an emotional ball of madness and craziness and am I doing it rightness, it, there was so much stuff today, it, but it was good, really good. I've got a headache right now because I've been wearing not these glasses. Mm. And, um, I wish the crew you know, would turn off the, uh, oh, they've turned on all the LED lights. Damn, Nev. But yeah, yeah, it's the first time I've ever been in a vlog type thing. You were in Ollie's ever. vlog. Um, was I? In 2014. Oh, right, yes. Uh, uh, Back what? when we were in Romford. Of course, yes. I thought you meant when he came down to And Derby. you were talking I about this. You are talking about this imaginary prequel that will be out in 2015. Yeah, which then turned into a... Prequel that was out in 2015. Which was very strange, because we were all joking. Maybe, I, maybe I'm... You know that I was joking about the Michael Keaton and all that? Lot <laughs> yeah, maybe actually, it's true. Maybe I just... All, these, all these hypothetical things you say will happen. They all actually happen. Welcome to June. It has been a while. <laughs> Sorry. I just walked by and the TARDIS is all wrapped up. Basically, I'm at Alan Rafferty's house. I said I would be, and uh, I am. It's weird to finally be here because I've been here in Skype form for so long. <laughs> I've been speaking to Alan on Skype for three years and I finally made it here. So I've watched his cat grow up from when she was a kitten and now here I am just watching her as a cat. It's weird. Um, where is Alan, you might ask? Not here. We've just finished filming on the second day. The sec Today is the 2nd of June. Um, he's taking all the actors home and he's left me here because there wasn't any room. The film's going in really well at the moment. I've got some behind the scenes footage which I'm going to play from yesterday. Um, we didn't film much behind the scenes footage uh, today, because today was the busiest day. We had 22 scenes to do in uh, 8 hours and we did it in around 12. So yeah, but it's all looking really good. I think it's looking great. Published. Oh yeah, I got a record deal. A record deal? <laughs> Where did that come from? Go for a moment. <laughs> when I get this book. I got a record deal. Oh, my like, what profession are you in? Like... <laughs> Want to get this book published? <laughs> I've got a record deal. Oh man. Right, okay. If you show her a good night, 
maybe she'll remember what she's missing. If you know what I mean. Just the most, Aaron. <laughs> That is a wrap, isn't it, Alan? Yeah, like a bacon wrap. It's really good, really good film. Yeah. Fun times. We've had a good time. Yeah, what's the time now? Eight. God knows. It's been. 8 30? Yeah. Two very oh. long filming days, isn't it? <laughs> Let's put it this way, Alan. Um, when I did Detach this time last year, yeah. we finished at 3 a.m. in the morning in the middle of a street in an alleyway because we were filming the climax. <laughs> we can't all be detached, can we? Let's face it. No. Those sometimes... people who detached suck, I hear. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Sometimes we that. don't have to be detached. Sometimes I mean, all we Pete. have to be is saving grace. Oh. Or attached. Yeah. Or attached. <laughs> yeah, I'm now heading back to London, and then from there I'm going to make my way home. That's about a three and a half hour journey to home, about an hour and a half to London. It's pretty much simple, really, I hope. Ugh. But yeah. It'll be good. I'll get home and I can start editing Saving Grace. It was great to be able to shoot a short film again. The last time I'd shot a film for myself at least was, well, at the very end of 2015 when um, I film switched off and that's only just come out. So um, now I'm doing Saving Grace and I hope to do a couple of more. Um, work on the web series has now started, which is also good. From that, yeah, I'm just kind of going higher and higher, higher and higher. It's not saying onwards, onwards. to get here and I planned to be on the train 40 minutes ago I'm not and my, my train that I'm currently on is leaving in 20 minutes I'm gonna be about an hour late I don't want to seem as though I'm annoying anyone like oh look the uh, train I used to get on is just parking up yeah that's the uh, train I used to get on when I uh, lived in Basildon so I was like, oh, that's probably the reason why it's been so messed up, is that they don't come here unless there's horrible train works going on. So there are train works going on. Overall, though, a really great start to June. Got to see Alan. Haven't seen Alan in two, near, over two years. Hello. Last time you saw me was when I came back from Derby. Now you join me in our front garden. Now what I just showed you behind me is everything I've got to rake. This is what I have raked. Mm. So I didn't finish raking like I said I was going to. <clears throat> However, that wasn't even the garden, that was the front. Um, issue is, now I'm going into town and the guy who came along and mowed previously and drove around is going to mow the rest because he didn't finish. So the raking is not done. We're not even halfway through it. This is our walk back from the shops. <laughs> I am re-uploading Time Traveller Series 1 and 2 onto my channel, onto my main Colin Chadwick Films channel. Back in February, 
I got a takedown notice from YouTube regarding duplicate uploads because not only do I upload Time Traveler onto my main channel but I also upload it onto a channel specifically for Time Traveler and YouTube had initially thought that that happened. So they issued a takedown notice giving me 24 hours to remove it all and so I did and I was going to appeal it and everything like that so I could get them back. I spoke to someone, they said oh we'll get back to you as soon as. They got back to me yesterday, literally yesterday, and this was in February, and they were telling me that it's all cleared up, you don't need to reply. But when I spoke to um, Dave, who works on Time Traveler with me, he was very insistent that that was not anyone from YouTube. And after looking at it myself, obviously, and everything, I, I, I agreed with him, it wasn't from YouTube. YouTube might not even have asked me to remove it in the first place. It might have actually been a very, very mean and rude prank. It's really frustrating, but I can't get angry about it because it's happened. I've got ideas of who it was. I just don't obviously have any proof to go on. So I've made a mistake that could cause me to lose a lot of files. I have this memory stick. It's called CCED2. I have accidentally formatted and renamed my hard drive called CCD2. And that means I lost not only all, not only bits and pieces I was working on, but all of my films dating back from switched off to 2008. I'm waiting for it to skid. I'm using this software which has worked before and it's found a lot so far, but I've got to wait for it to be finished. Gone by quite quickly, but now it's reached the big files. <laughs> and it's going to take a while. We've got a thunderstorm, as you know, because it's just been going on throughout it. And um, you know how I was doing the recovering of my, uh, hard, basically, all my hard drive had gone mad. and. Um, I accidentally wiped it and I've been trying to recover and it's been going since 6pm last night, it's now 2pm the next day. And this thunderstorm caused a power cut. Well at least we've got power again. Oh, there we go, it cut off again. So you've just witnessed two power cuts in the past minute. Um, luckily my hard drive with all the stuff I'm currently working on is safe. I just shouldn't really name... Okay, there's another power cut for you. Okay. You will have seen my face just go from like a normal mm hmm, mm hmm, to just hate. That's because I used a different one and it actually recovered absolutely everything really, really quickly. And it said, oh, by the way, um, if you pay us £150, then we'll give it to you. So yeah, I'm now in the process of just re-downloading everything. I got all of my files back to an extent. I had to re-download them all. Luckily, I did also have backups on my actual computer. So I was able to get the majority of it back, but I had to re-download off YouTube the majority of the stuff I was missing. But yeah, I've got everything. It's Father's Day today. I've given my dad a painting of a very, a very nice ink painting of a house. Bought my book on excellent British furniture designs from the Victorian times because he's very much a picture person. He very much likes that. I'm glad he does. And um, me and my stepmum, Yulia, have been uh, to Sainsbury's and stuff to get loads of meat because we are having barbecue and everything with the whole family, so that's good. Good Father's Day. Game of Thrones was just on. It might, um, at least in my opinion, be the the greatest Game of Thrones episode that I've ever seen. Definitely the most tense. If you don't know which one I'm talking about, I'm talking about the one called Battle of the Bastards. Ironically, on Father's Day. <sighs> I'm not going to have to sleep now. I love this angle. Um, unfortunately, my room's a little bit messy, and I can't be bothered to clear it up. <laughs> Basically, 
this month has been a lot of me just not really doing much. Beginning of this month, there's obviously me, me meeting up with Alan, Alan Rafferty, up in Derby, I'm shooting a new short film, which I'm still in the middle of editing. I'm waiting on bits and pieces of music from people and stuff like that. Then I can put together a second draft. The film, again, is going to be out in September, which is three months away, so that's more than enough time. Still working on the untitled web series, which is, you know, all here and everything. Half of that is pre-production, but the reveal on that is also going to be delayed because of the Time Traveller re-uploading I'm doing, which is great. The things I do for Time Traveller. So the Ish Doctors is now online. It's that thing I did for Comic-Con last month, at the very end of last month. Go and check that out. Link will be in the description. Obviously go and uh, check that out after you've finished watching this. Richard, his office is looking for you. How many women did you take advantage of? You really don't care, do you? Come on, Megan. Open your eyes. Leave me alone. Fuck you. <laughs> Ian, I'm sorry. I cannot let this scumbag go. I would recommend that you go and watch part three of Today's Detectives playback because if you've been watching the previous series of this 2015 then you'll know that we started filming that in July and finished in November and here we are in June part three is finally complete that will be out on the 24th of June obviously at this point when you're watching this or when it's even online it'll already be out so the link will be down in the description and uh, stuff like that I'm a walking plug. Advertisement plug. Nothing else. So yeah, the EU referendum is looking really 50-50 at the moment. When it first started, it started out as very strong Remain. Now, now it's, it went towards more leave, and it was quite a lot of people wanting to leave, even people, like people constituencies where I used to live. I don't want to leave, personally. I think, like, we can, I know that it seems a bit of a silly idea. I think we can find a way to change and make things better. We can't do that whilst we're not in it. Like regarding our like, immigration and you know, closing off our borders. We're not gonna let any of these foreigners in. But like, but, like someone like I, I don't get that. I don't get that thinking like, yeah, this is my country. Yeah, you were born here. So voted to leave the EU. I was mainly on the Remain side, but like I said, I'm going to respect people's opinions and stuff like that, you know, and there's nothing we can do about it, so it's going to happen. What is going to be a not what is just not so much annoying but very interesting is the fact that it was such a tight vote of like, leave only having 4% ahead of everyone else who was uh, remaining and I saw this really uh, one of the someone who was with Labour who was part of the Remain campaign said something very interesting which was that we're now technically a divided country half of us technically want to stay and half of us want to leave and the very slight majority will leave so there's still 48% including myself we don't want to leave, but we are. And we've got to make it work. I'll leave June on this point, actually, I will. Um, I will see you in July, where I continue making films and stuff like that. This month's been very much me doing pre-production and sort of setting up stuff for myself, which you'll see next month. 
So I'll say goodbye to you now at half five in the morning. Goodbye. <laughs>